Hey guys, and welcome back to Valheim. So today we're going to work on episode 3 of the tutorial series. And uh, currently we're still just running around in the basics. We're still using our flint axe, still sitting in rags. I've done some farming and gone ahead and gotten a little bit of leather and stuff, so real quick we'll go over how to do that. So now the next phase, once you've hit this point, is going to be to, if you haven't started already, to kill deer and boar. To kill the deer, you're going to want to sneak. To sneak, you're going to press the, con the left control button. And then you'll crouch, you'll see that little meter pop up. When you move around, it uses stamina. If you stop, you slowly replenish stamina. We're going to go ahead and eat some food. So if you look down here, when you eat three pieces of food, you'll see it fill up your uh, food meter or hunger meter. You'll fill in these three slots with whatever it is. When it starts flashing, it means it's about to run out. You'll regenerate and gain a higher level of hit points and more stamina when you do that. As long as you're well fed. So I saw some deer and boar down here. We're going to ease this way. So there's a boar over there. The boar you can just run up to. They'll attack you. They might run a little bit, but they'll come back. And then, uh, let's see. Did I see any deer? There was Yeah, see, there's, and then there's a deer right there. So we're going to try to ease up on the deer. Hopefully we don't aggro the boar. So we're currently crouched down. We're going to try to ease up behind the deer. Replenish a little bit of stamina. And then just hit him from behind. I always go for two strikes because uh, sometimes it takes three. Eventually they will come back if you scare them away. But they have pretty good hit points. And then that gives us deer trophies, deer, uh, well not deer meat, but deer trophies, raw meat, and deer hide. And the hide is what we need for upgrading our weapons and building some new stuff. And remember the boar will attack you, so when it attacks just right click and you'll block it. You can, if you do it perfectly and timed well enough, you'll get a parry, which will stun your enemies. And then they'll give you boar trophies, raw meat, and leather scraps or leather pieces alright so those are the two types of animals that we need to kill like I said I've already killed a bunch of them so you'll have to watch me just hunt those down while you're doing that you're gonna want to gather berries and food so we're gonna come up here and if you look into here see we have a deer trophy here oh let me see right here all right, so we have a trophy here save all of your trophies so we've got a deer trophy we've got a couple of boar trophies and then we have a neck trophy which is the little green lizards so you need to save these. These will be used later for summons. All right, then we'll come over here to this wait, let me see this one right here. So we've already got 30 deer hide. And then we have 56 leather scraps. Or 57 I guess now that we have one on us. You're also going to want to get bone fragments which you get from skeletons. We had one come to the base the other day. So that's the reason I have one. But usually you want to find burrows and caves. And that's where you'll find the bone warriors. And we'll need that later to build some other stuff, so just save those. We don't have enough now, so we're not going to worry about that. We're going to then grab some flint. Let's see if we can carry some stone. Nope. If you hold shift and then left click, you can split the stack. And then let's grab some wood. Let's see, it's 76 pounds, really. So we don't want to be over encumbered. So we'll just carry that 19 for now. So what we're going to do now is head down to the chest. Or not the chest, the workbench. Press E to use it. Well, let's see. Our crow is trying to talk to us. Where, where is he at? Let's see what he wants. Oh, he's talking about how if you carry too much luggage, you'll become encumbered, slowing you down, preventing you from regaining your stamina. Alright, so at the workbench, we'll go ahead and hit this hammer to repair our, our items. And then from here, we can build some other stuff. We could build more rag clothing. We can build arrows. We can build the bow now. So we can build a flint knife, a tower shield, and a spear. The things I recommend to build is you're going to want to get a wood shield as soon as you can. So we're going to need four pieces of resin for that. So we'll do that in a second. And we're going to want to build a spear. So we're going to go ahead and build the spear. And then let's build a bow. Let's 
We don't need that many torches. And then we're out of wood. So what we can do to get rid of some stuff, possibly, if we don't... Let's go ahead and store this torch. So I'm storing all my extra weapons right here. And anyone who watched my last episode, I know we used to have the bed under here. Do not do not put the bed under your stairs, because you'll get stuck when you spawn on it. So I went ahead and moved it over by the fire, because it needs to be close to the fire anyway, so you can get resting. Alright, so also under this menu, what you can do is you can go to the upgrade screen, and you can upgrade your items. In order to do that, you see it increases the star level. So for us to do that, we're going to have to get our hammer out. And we'll need to build the chopping block. So under crafting, we've got two items here. We've got the chopping block and the tanning rack. We're going to want to build both of these, and it's going to allow our workbench to be higher level. So we need more wood for that too. So let's go ahead and head back upstairs, grab some wood. We'll drop our stone off for now, I guess. Maybe I was being too optimistic. <laughs> Alright, get the hammer back out. We're gonna go ahead and build the chopping block. It's a workbench improvement. I'm pretty sure you can put this wherever you want to. We're just gonna set it all right here by the bench. So we're gonna put it over here because it's kind of small. And then we get new recipes, workbench level 2, leather tunics, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, flint head arrow, deer hide cape, leather helmet. And then we're going to want to build the tanning rack. So we're going to set it right here. Workbench level 3. We can also build a deer rug, which improves our rested experience and comfort level in the house. So we're going to build that and we'll just set it over here by the fire in the bed. And now we'll go back to our weapon. We can come back to the bench. You see how it's adding the points from there to make it a higher level workbench so we can build like the leather helmet. Let me see what else do we have now. The deer hide cape. Still need to grab us some resin. The spear and the shield, you definitely want to get pretty pretty quickly. Those are good things to have. So if we go to our flint axe, we can upgrade that here. Just hit upgrade. It takes flint and uh, leather scraps. Same thing with the spear, we can upgrade it. And it's going to increase its block power and stuff like that as you upgrade your weapons. And the highest we can go, obviously, is going to be level 3, because that's the current level of the workbench. And then we're probably going to want to go ahead and make some leather equipment, leather tunic, leather pants, and a leather helmet, just to get our defense up. So let's see, do we have enough for that? We'll, we'll make as much of that as we can. I don't think we're gonna have a just, I think we're gonna run a little short. But first, let's make sure we have what we need for the wooden shield. Just leather scraps, okay. So let's go ahead and get us a tunic made. It's a six deer hide. We'll make leather pants. It's gonna be another six hide. And then we'll make the leather helmet, which is also six hide. Why does it sound like something's so angry at me? Let's go outside and take a look. Alright, so we're going to come over here and stand by the fire so you, everybody can see. I feel like something's still out there being mad at me. Okay. So then we'll open our inventory and we've got our new leather equipment here. Let's move this out of the way. And then you're going to right click that to equip it. And you're going to see our defense go up here. So now we have six defense. So we can take more damage. So let's head up. Well, first I'm going to store this uh, piece of rag. We could just get rid of it. But 
I hoard stuff, so let's grab some resin. We'll get our shield made. So that's four resin, four leather scraps, ten pieces of wood. Craft it. And then we're going to rearrange our hot slots up here just to make it to where it's more comfortable to get around on it. So i put spear on four, we're going to put shield on five, bow on six, because we don't use the hoe and hammer very often, so I'm going to keep those on the back. If you want to cook food once you've pl placed your campfires, and then you leave it to where they can vent, as you see, mine was right here, and I moved it in there, then I put a half wall up here to catch the smoke and then push it out through the side vents. You still will get smoke inhalation if you stand in here too much or too close to the fires. But when you have raw meat of any kind on you, raw meat, necker tails, whatever you can cook, if you face these cooking stations, you just press E to put it on there. And then we'll stand here and you can watch it change states. It has three, uh, as far as I know, it has three different states. It has the raw state it's in now. Next, it'll go to a cook state. And then after that, it goes to a cold state. And we'll check both of those out. Uh, coal is useful for various things, as you'll find out once we advance farther. And you'll hear it make a sound too, so we, you can jump and do other things while you're waiting if you need to. So that's the first state where it's cooked. So now you would press E again, and then you'd pick it up. So I guess I can do that one. So we'll press E one time. You see there's a cooked piece of meat. Just get close to it. You'll pick it up. So now we have cooked meat on us. And then just let that one keep cooking. It takes a little bit, and you'll see it turn into a big black lump, which means it's cold. All right, so we're going to press E on that and pick that up. So now we have coal, new building pieces, sign. So now we can build a sign so we can label all of our crates and chests. Now then, so now that we have our new look going on with the, our new armor, if you want to equip your spear and shield, mine's on 4 and 5, so I'll press 4 for my spear. Five for my shield. So now we look more like a Viking warrior. If you're trying to do unarmed stuff or you're just trying to move around without having that stuff out, you can press the R button. R is in Romeo. And it'll put it on your back. And now we're ready to take on the world. But we also have to let we have new skills that we'll need to level now, which is spears. We can also level knives. Uh, I've never used the knife, and I really don't care for the tower shield because it slows you down, so I prefer to just use the small shield. So, f so R to put it back on your back, R to take it off if you want to. You can still sneak with this, you can block with this. Man, that's a lot of fog. I've never seen this much fog in the game before. And as you see, our food on the lower left corner is wearing out. Why is it so foggy? That looks... Is there something dangerous coming? <laughs> so that sound you just heard, that's the sound of deer. Man, visibility is like non-existent. I don't even know what time of day it is. Oh, we just changed the day 13, so a new day just started. So running, jumping, you know, levels you up. As you can see, my jump's pretty high level, so I can jump higher. It looks like it uses less stamina now. There's a deer over there, two of them. So we're gonna try to sneak up on them. Cause we're gonna wanna build a cape also. And to upgrade stuff, we'll need more hides. <laughs> there are three deer here actually, okay. But that's how the spear works, guys. The bow, you have to make arrows for it, and then you'll just left mouse button and hold it. And you're, you'll watch the circle get smaller and smaller, and that increases its accuracy. It has a really bad drop, so it's a good idea to skill that up. There'll be some enemies you're going to want to initially fight with nothing but the bow. The run skill improved to level 20. Wait, is this place? No, it must just be the fog. Because we're not taking smoke damage. So let's see if we can upgrade our shield or what we need to do that. So wooden shield will need more wood on us. 
Leather helmet to upgrade, need, to upgrade your leather, you need bone fragments. We're probably not going to worry about that. We'll probably just go to the next type of armor once we get to that point. We're still a ways from that, but uh, with our current stats, I think we'll be fine fighting most anything. So let's grab a couple more pieces of wood. Go back to upgrade. We got the wood shield here. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Block power went from 25 to 30. That's going to be really important here once you start fighting large groups of enemies. So we're going to want to get that up to 3 star. Alright, so wooden shield now upgraded. It's max quality. The flint spear says it can be upgraded to 4 star. I don't think we can do that on this bench, but we can try it. So we need flint, scraps, wood. Now if the star is flashing, that means our bench isn't ready, so we, we can't do that. I guess we can go ahead and make a knife maybe and see if it won't unlock anything extra. So flint and more leather. Nope, we don't have any more leather. Okay, so we'll just have to wait till we kill some more boars and we'll try that. I guess we can go try to track one down really quick. We'll put the coal over here with our stone for now. Eventually we're going to get a bunch of coal, so we're going to want to make more crates for that. Clean our inventory up a little bit. Currently just storing my food right here. And let's see if we can't get our eyes on some boars. So just kind of keep uh, a mind for where you've seen them before. They spawn randomly in different locations, but usually they'll be nearby that the same places where they spawn at. And as you see, I haven't, I still haven't made it very far in the game. There hasn't been any reason yet. The next place we'll be venturing to is down here into the dark forest. And again, if you need flint, you find. You can find flint along rivers and oceans, anywhere where there's water. And then once we get a little bit stronger, we'll need to use our deer trophies. And we'll with those, we'll go over to Ichthyr, which I can show you all that. He's the first boss, and that's what you need to do to get the uh, pickaxe to mine iron. I'm probably going to make a separate video just for that once we're strong enough. But you'll want to come over here, and we'll place trophies on the mythical altar, and it will summon the boss. Now, if I remember right, it's going to be two deer heads per summon. You can summon them multiple times. See, calling forth the beast, you have found the summoning place of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, the forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. And yeah, the bosses, I'm not going to say this guy is super hard, but you definitely want to make sure you've uh, skilled up, have food, have armor, have a decent weapon, maybe get all your stuff upgraded a little bit. And then fight him. What he drops will unlock the recipes to get the pickaxe. And the pickaxe is what you'll use to get your tin ore and your copper ore. Um, so far, the only place I've found tin and copper is usually... Tin is usually around water. And uh, typically in higher level areas like the dark forest. And then copper is also in the forest. And it's like giant rock slabs. Like it looks like rock, but big flat slabs on the ground. And it's really, really heavy. You can only carry a few pieces at a time. See, so, yeah, that looks like a boar right there. Let's go... Uh, if he wants to chill with us. So he's going to attack us. But he, usually on the first attack, they just attack and miss. And then if you let him run around like this, he'll come back. He's blocked him by holding the right mouse button. Right, and I got some leather scraps off of him and some meat. 
And like I said, guys, that's all you want to do now. Um, for the third part is just start exploring, start killing stuff. Um, there's one more thing we want to check out, too. I believe there's one over here, so I'll show it to you. Actually, no, I think I found it. I think there's a close one to the base right here. So in these abandoned buildings, you can find chests. Uh, we might have just scared them all the way. And see that star on that deer? That means he's a higher tier. I think that improves the drop rate. It also makes them harder to kill and sneak up on. I thought I saw another deer. Was it just that rock? Oh well. Right, so you see like abandoned buildings like this and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Some look like barns, some look like little outhouses or like small one by ones. So when you come to like this one, there's a shelf right here. If you look, you can just see a chest up there. I've already got the loot out of it with there's some money and amber in here. They don't all have them, but most, uh, but they, some of them do. And then they also have the bee nest, which you can knock down. I'd advise using bows for those because they'll poison you. If you can't see that though from this angle, you can just jump up and press E and it'll let you in there. And then when you open the chest, there's a take all button here at the top left. So make sure you, you get all that, get the money, get the amber. They're, they're valuable items. I don't know what they're used for yet. I'm sure crafting and there must be a shop or something somewhere. So, you know, just save all that until you find the location where it's going to be used. And that guys will probably I think that's good enough for tutorial episode three to get you going. From there, it's pretty much just a time to skill up, level up and to get just to kill and harvest everything you can find. We need to get this boar. Did that deer stay here or did he run? No, he ran. But I hope this video helps you guys out. And again, just a quick reminder again, if you go to Ichthyr, take the deer, deer heads with you when you're fully geared, upgraded, skilled up, and ready. He's not the easiest boss in the world. I'll have a video for him here in a few hours probably after this one is posted. And we'll kill him, and then we'll go into mining in episode 4 of the tutorial for more advanced stuff. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave comments below. Thanks for watching.